I think the most important thing to learn from this study is that breast reconstruction is right for some women, and it's not right for some women. And the question is, who is it right for? Um, this study doesn't answer that. It starts to suggest that we need to ask that question better. Overall, the rate of reconstruction is, I think, a lot lower than most people think it is. So you would think that among women who have, who have early stage breast cancer, who have a mastectomy, I think most of us would predict that maybe half or the majority of women are getting reconstruction. It turns out it's about, for, for immediate reconstruction, it's about somewhere between about 15% and a third of women are getting reconstruction. So certainly not half and not the majority. Um, and why that is also, I don't think anybody really knows. So with those questions in mind, we sought to determine, first of all, let's just start out by determining how effective is breast reconstruction? What difference does it make in women's lives? We found that overall, of the studies that we looked at, and we included 33 studies in our review, um, on average, outcomes of breast reconstruction were about the same as outcomes of mastectomy alone. The studies that have looked at how many women get reconstruction and who gets women who who gets reconstruction definitely find that women who are younger are more likely to get reconstruction, and that sort of stands to reason or is not too surprising. Probably younger women are more likely to prefer reconstruction and may have fewer medical characteristics that would prevent them from getting reconstruction. Um, but on the other hand, o older women are eligible for reconstruction. They aren't necessarily um, not allowed to have reconstruction. And so we don't really know if that was the patient's preference or if that's surgeon's perceptions of who should get reconstruction. I, I do think a woman's experience with breast cancer and with reconstruction has a lot to do with just how she's doing overall um, before it all happens. Um, but then also it has to do with her expectations before surgery, um, her preferences, whether or not the operation is really the right one for her or whether or not she really should have an operation depending on what's really important to her. And then I think some of, some of it is just how the operation actually ends up going, whether or not there are complications, and then just how much treatment she ends up needing after um, surgery like adjuvant chemotherapy or radiation therapy. That's definitely been shown to affect reconstruction. One of the limitations in the literature that we discovered in this review is that very few studies looked at how women were doing in terms of their body image and their quality of life um, at the beginning of their breast cancer diagnosis before they had surgery. The ideal study would look at those things and see how women are doing before they have surgery and then look at how they're doing afterwards instead of just attributing everything to their treatments. I personally suspect that uh, how women are doing in terms of their body image or their quality of life or their emotional well-being when they find out they have breast cancer or when they undergo reconstruction um, plays a great deal into how they do overall with their reconstruction in the end. It remains to be studied and some of the research that I'm doing now um, will look at some of those issues. The m first important step will be to do a study that is a prospectively designed cohort study. So in other words, a study that enrolls women at the time, shortly after they're, diagnosis and th they're diagnosed and before they have surgery to see how they're doing beforehand. Then to follow them up afterwards, rather than studies that look at how women are doing one, at one moment in time. The next thing I think that's really important in the next step in research will be to uh, take into account what women's preferences are. So what's really important to them? I would say for all women with breast cancer, beating their breast cancer is top on the list. But and then when you get delve into it further, for some women, getting back to their young children or getting back to their job is really high on the list. For other women, that's important, but not absolutely the most important thing, and having a really well-reconstructed breast is really important, and they'll do whatever it takes to get that outcome. Um, similarly, I ask every woman who presents for reconstruction, what's important to you? How you're going to look with your clothes on in in sort of everyday life or in more intimate situations. And that's really important to tease out. Uh, so I think that a really good study has to look at, women, ask women what's important to them and their preferences about things like that. And that's some of the research that I'm doing now. I really strongly encourage my patients and all women who are diagnosed with breast cancer to take an active role in, in their treatment planning. Um, and if they feel overwhelmed by all the information to say, I feel overwhelmed, 
and to seek out a different way to go about finding out information and to make those decisions and to work with their whole team of providers to come up with what's best for them.